One, two, three, here I go. Give me that microphone. We are so happy you guys could join us this morning on TNT. We have a special Hannah edition. 
And uh, Hannah's looking at our attendance, and she's wondering um, who's here. So if you are here, please, we're taking roll call. So you need to chat your name in. And if you're new, we want to know who you are, especially if you're from California, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> if you're from California, definitely say, hey, y'all. Hey, y'all. <laughs> So, yeah, chat your name in. We want to know who you are. And thank you for joining us. All right. Today on TNT, we have these following topics. California real estate highlights from our trip. That's what we're going to talk about today. California buyers relocating to McKinney, Texas. And don't California my McKinney, Texas. (laughs) What? Sassy. 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 (laughs) And we have a special word of the day, and it doesn't start with an A. We're still in the A's. Oh, we are? In our dictionary. We skipped ahead then. Yeah, so we've skipped ahead. So, y'all ready to get started? I am. We are. All right. Hit the bell, Hannah. (laughs) Hi, Shauna Quisto, broker of Aquisto Real Estate, and Hannah, I keep wanting to say Hannah Montana. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> Hannah Ewing, top realtor in McKinney, Texas. We are here to talk about California real estate highlights. We're going to talk about, of all the agents that we visited, yes. how many of their listings are moving out of state, why, and a biggest big surprise from um, our last day in California and a walk on the pier. So we're going to talk about that. So let's get started, Hannah. So yeah. what did we learn? We met with... Um, Several top agents, you know, as you guys know, and I, if you don't know, I'm going to tell you, Hannah had an idea to go back to California um, and try to understand this whole mass exodus that's happening from California. There's so many people moving to our area from California, and we want to know, we want to know why. So Yeah, so just to rewind a little bit, um, I don't know if everyone knows this, but I grew uh-huh. up in California. Uh-huh. I know. <laughs> I, I, I don't know if Texans hate Californians or I don't think we do anymore, but I think there's a miss under, you know, it's just kind of, it's a misunderstanding. So misunderstand. we're going to cover that too. Yeah. But um, yes, I did grow up in California and I grew up in a, a small town called Bakersfield. It's a oh, lot. Carl, like, let's show our, our photos. We're going to show off um, some of our pics. It's a lot like Texas. Bakersfield is. It's, it's very conservative. It's an oil town. And so during this last 12 months, I've had a lot of people call me saying that they're going to move to McKinney, Texas or to Collin County. And it got me thinking to Shona that if we have so many people coming from California, maybe we should go straight to the source, meet with some agents. And when they meet people that are moving, um, they'll have a face to put to a name and they can send them my way and I can help them. So Mm -hmm. that kind of prompted the trip to California and the great road trip across the state. So that's, that's why we went. Um, and we met with several amazing agents. So it was really fun to just get to know people and hear about their market. And what we were surprised to hear is their market is booming too. So they list a home and they're also getting multiple offers. Um, But what one agent, agent told us, she simply is a listing agent. So she only works with sellers and she had a record year last year. And of the homes that she listed, she said 70% were moving out of state. 70%. 70%. So the the interesting thing is 70% are moving out of state. Of that, a large percentage were, for, were moving to Texas. But you know, it's surprising to me because there's they're all in multiple offers. Mm-hmm. Every home, it's like our market here, which is crazy. So as many people are moving out, there's that many people still moving within the state. Yeah, so what we found is where their buyers are coming from, they're all California buyers. So... Mm-hmm. Um, the California buyers are moving to less expensive areas or, you know, moving away from the big cities now that, like us, they can work from home. Mm-hmm. Um, they're selling and moving to the less expensive areas to get more house for their money. So yeah. that's a lot of where their offers are coming from and then... Um, mm-hmm. And why, right? Yeah. But we did we did learn that, you know, some of it is political. Um, if they have kids in school... Um, that's a huge factor and, you know, just, a, a, you know, and it's emotional. So I think I talked about that last week, but it is hard if you grew up in a place your whole life and then you feel like you're kind of getting pushed out. Yeah. So, Mm -hmm. um, so did we want to talk about topic two, California buyers? Um, That's going to be our next topic, next topic. But 
I want to throw in this biggest surprise of our trip. Um, and the last day, Hannah and I got up, we get up super early. So we got up really early. We walked on the pier. We got all the way down. And there was this restaurant oh, down there. I didn't know there, what you were going to tell. <laughs> this restaurant and, you know, clam chowder. They're, like, I guess they're known a for clam chowder. restaurant on the pier. And yeah. we're like, oh, we want clam chowder yeah. later today. We're in oh, California. Yeah. So yeah. we're really excited about um, it. So we're walking by this big truck, you know, that's unloading all of the supplies to this restaurant. And they open the door. And what did we see, Hannah? We saw a bunch of um, cans of Campbell's clam chowder mix. Cases. Cases and cases and cases of canned clam Clam chowder. chowder. Was it Campbell's? I think it was Campbell's. It was Campbell's. Yeah. We were (laughs) like, like, wait a minute. What? So, that was a huge disappointment. It was, we did not have lunch there, (laughs) y'all. I know (laughs) it is. I can get that at home. (laughs) But don't worry, we ate a lot on that trip. Okay, (laughs) we're going to close that topic out. Okay. Hi there, Shauna Aquisto, broker of Aquisto Real Estate. And here today on TNT, we have Hannah Ewing, top realtor in McKinney, Texas, here to talk about California buyers moving to McKinney, Texas. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to find out who, the price points, when, why, and what do they want. Why are they coming here? (laughs) Let's get started, Hannah. Okay, sure. Who are these people? Well, (laughs) I think a lot of them are people who have lived in California their whole lives. Mm -hmm. Um, The real estate market is getting more and more expensive there. And a lot of them really aren't able to make a living because California has been so shut down. Um, And then the taxes are just getting out of control there. So business owners are wanting out. um, Families, their kids still aren't in school. Mm -hmm. So they want to come to a a place that's more open where they can um, can have an opportunity (laughs) to educate their kids and have a business or have a job where they can make money and provide for their family. And Mm -hmm. a lot of what we're seeing, so is people coming just because they like the Texas values and the Texas culture. So Mm -hmm. they're packing up and moving our direction. They are. And, you know, with our market being as crazy as it is, you know, we have so many people that are competing for the same home, right? And then you have a California buyer or someone where, you know, (laughs) To them, this is a bargain. So yeah. they have cashed in or cashed out, and they have all this cash, and they're coming in and you know swooping up these homes, and leaving you know some of the unfortunate buyers without. Well, so. it kind of reminds me of Monopoly, mm-hmm. and when you're playing Monopoly, and I have to play it all the time with my kids, but you know, there's the Love really Monopoly. cheap houses that you can buy a whole bunch of and build your real estate portfolio that way, and I think that's kind of what this is like to a California buyer. Yeah. They have a ton of equity in their Mm -hmm. homes and maybe they're keeping their home in California and they're pulling some equity out and then they're cash buyers where they can pick up a $300,000 house and it's literally nothing to them. Mm -hmm. Um, So they come in and, you know, our, our local first time home buyers can barely get an offer accepted because somebody's coming in and and easily offering 25,000, 50,000 above list because again, it's monopoly money. (laughs) It's a little monopoly. They're like just happy. Yeah. To have, been fortunate enough to get that extra cash. So to them, yes. So what price points are you seeing in our market that, you know, up to that are going into multiple offers and, you know, selling for cash? I would say up to five or six hundred thousand. Mm-hmm. Um, we're seeing homes listed at five hundred thousand and going for six hundred thousand in a multiple offer situation. Mm-hmm. It's crazy. And I think the other advantage that they have is that they can easily waive the, waive the appraisal mm-hmm. um, because they are a cash buyer and they have the, the money to do that. So, mm-hmm. And what do you think they're looking for? Like, Well, it's funny. Types of things. I, I don't know if this is a little off topic, but again, grow, growing up in California, and our homes are stucco in California. And here, a brick home mm-hmm. is what they think rich people own. <laughs> so our brick well, houses. Well, in California, they, we, we learned that brick, oh no. You, you can't have it out there. No, if you do, it's like way expensive. Uh-huh, uh-huh. So yeah, I think, you know, it's just a lifestyle. It's bigger yards and the pools mm-hmm. and the, uh, I don't know. It's just a whole lifestyle. Or the ranches, you know, here they can come and yeah. Sean and I were joking, like trade in the beach for, or trade in the surfboard for a horse. <laughs> yeah, why not? <laughs> you know? You know? And I think that, there's a couple of things that people get this perception of everything's bigger in Texas. So the homes are bigger. Yeah. 
They are. And, you know, and they want more land. And, you know, you can come here and get acreage, and it's super affordable compared to oh, yeah. California. So, and I'm sure they want a barn. It's Texas. They need a right. horse and a barn. And, <laughs> and get some cowboy boots. Get some cowboy boots. <laughs> All right. Well, we're going to end that topic. Thanks, Thanks, Hannah. Yep. Okay. Hey there, Shauna Aquisto. Oh, and my voice is changing. <laughs> <laughs> Broker of Aquisto Real Estate. And this is Hannah Ewing, top realtor in McKinney, Texas. We are here talking about our recent California trip. And this phrase, don't California, my McKinney, Texas. What on <laughs> earth does that mean? <laughs> okay, so it's kind of funny um, because I do work with a lot of people that are relocating from out of state. And my friends are always like, don't bring the, don't let those buyers into McKinney. We don't want those buyers here. Why are you working with them? (laughs) Well, so here's a secret. I'm from California. My husband's from Colorado. You're from Arkansas. Your husband's from New York. (laughs) Y'all, we've all relocated here. Yes. Texas is a big melting pot. And so it's, um, it brings to mind an interesting real estate term called Mm -hmm. relocation diffusion, which we'll talk more about later. But Mm -hmm. when different parts of the country or different cultures all start moving and what happens and how do they change where they've moved to. Mm -hmm. So yes, they could be bringing their political Mm -hmm. views or religious views, but they're also bringing innovation and business. And I think that's why our Metroplex is booming and we do have so much growth and opportunity here because we are getting some of the best of the best from every state. I think so, too. And, you know, so don't don't be hating on the Californians. They're all, I mean, we really <laughs> There's a lot of really good ones out there. People. Yes. And a yeah. lot of them that are wanting to move, it's because they do disagree with what's happening there. Yeah. And so. And they agree with what's happening here. Right. Which is, you know, kind of along the same lines as how we all may feel. Mm-hmm. Now, so you might be disappointed they're coming in and paying cash and kicking you out of, of buying a home, but. You know, let's give everybody a, a welcome. Let's be the nice Texans. Be the that, nice that, Texans. Yes. That we have a reputation for. We do. <laughs> um, okay. So what type of agent do you think they are looking for? Well, they definitely want somebody who's knowledgeable about mm-hmm. the area. Mm-hmm. Um, Kim Miller and I were just talking about this yesterday. You really need to know what schools are going to be best for their families or um, if they have a certain religious preference, like what community is good for them that they might like where their church is mm-hmm. close to. I had somebody who came um, into an open house this weekend that's moving from Colorado and they had a church and a private school already lined up, and they're looking for homes right around there. And so it's just really Aww. being an expert and finding out what's mm-hmm. most important to them. You know, Mike has this um, phrase that he uses all the time, that you have two ears and one mouth. So if you just listen, and then you can guide them. But mm-hmm. you have to listen to them, and then it'll be pretty clear. And then if you understand your area and you're you know, very knowledgeable about your area, then you can guide them and help them. But understand, it could be emotional. Just moving alone is very overwhelming and emotional. So you need to give them a little extra care, whether it's California, wherever they're moving from. You know, take that extra time. And I think that's what we we really um, thrive on is Mm -hmm. being able to to guide and help them through a difficult, you know, move. And as as a parent you're changing the course of your kids' lives yeah. and, you know, probably rocking their world. So we mm-hmm. relocated when I was um, in middle school and we moved to Georgia and talk about a cultural change from California where mm-hmm. all of a sudden we weren't wearing bongo short shorts. We were <laughs> wearing like Dooney and Burks and long <laughs> shorts. And, you know, it's hard yeah. for, it's really hard for families. So I think if you can just kind of be that first touch and that first resource and, you mm-hmm. know, show them what makes our area special and how they can find their place here. Yeah, and some people move here and they know not one person. They have no family here. They have kids. And can you imagine you're uprooting your family and doing what you feel is in their best interest, right? Yes. And it's it's really hard. So, you know, love on your Californians or (laughs) whoever they are. Don't be hating on them. All right, we're going to close that one out. Oh, let's go to uh, word of the day. Okay. Sorry. Hi there. 
Shauna Quisto, broker of Quisto Real Estate, Hannah Ewing, top realtor in McKinney, Texas. And we, you may have um, heard Hannah talk about this before, but this is a new, relatively new word that we're going to have for our word of the day. And it is called relocation diffusion. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to let Hannah read the definition. Can you? <laughs> Do we have it written out? Oh, okay, awesome. I thought I was just going to like wing it and make it up. <laughs> Relocation diffusion occurs when people move from their original location to another and bring their innovations with them, immigration from country to country, city to city, etc. As they relocate to a new location, they bring their ideas, their cultural traditions, such as food, music, and more. Right. So let's use this in a sentence. Okay. Um, Shauna, on the spot. <laughs> well, I think that one of the reasons um, Texas has so many amazing Tex-Mex restaurants is because of relocation diffusion, um, where people have perhaps moved from Mexico and brought their amazing family recipes and started restaurants, and then we put our own spin on it, and now we're known for our amazing margaritas and fajitas. Absolutely, and we love it, right? Yeah. So, you know... I think that's really amazing. I mean, I think you're right. That's why we have so, so much great, all these different types of restaurants yeah. and cuisines here. So keep coming. Yeah. But you guys should know that word, relocation diffusion. We are the relocation diffusion <laughs> headquarters here <laughs> in true. Texas, yes. right? Where we yep. live. All right. Thank you. All right, guys, that's a wrap. Shauna Quisto, broker of Quisto Real Estate, Hannah Ewing, top realtor in McKinney, Texas. And today we talked about California real estate highlights from our trip, California buyers relocating to McKinney, Texas. And don't California my McKinney, Texas. <laughs> what? What is that? So thank you for joining us today, and we'll see you tomorrow. Okay, so we're going to do some that, photos. Um, vodka in your coffee? Was it working out great. for you? <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Yep. Woo. Okay. So now we're going to do our photos. I think we should have that sign in one of them. Yes. <laughs> um... Should we do this? <laughs> Can we do this sign? Oop. Is it um, too uh, uh, offensive? Maybe not. <laughs> Is it? He'll tell us the truth. No, I don't think. I don't think so. You don't think we should use we, it? We, we could have that. Uh, we could decide later if we would use that or not. Okay. That's fine. On the safe side. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. So we're we just gonna do this. <laughs> just kidding. Yeah, let's do this. <laughs> All right. Hit one and two. Oh. I got one hand. All right. <laughs> um. Then topic number one. See. Oh, me too. Uh, Okay. California real estate highlights. That? Too bad we don't have our fruit anymore. But... <gasps> Did we do I that? do have some fruit. Hey, Mike, are you in there? I think I have some lemons still. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. We might have. Oh, uh, maybe we don't. Should we do them under our light? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, it's a uh, on the green screen. Oh, it's disappearing. Why is it? Okay. It went in. No. It's yeah done. 
If Brutus is uh, keyed, I guess. He does I have a oh, You just have to hold it correctly oh. and cover the... Okay, yes. So you can cover that. Me too. Oh, how am I going to do this? I'm just going to look at you <laughs> like... Okay. Okay. No. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Right. Uh, second topic, California buyers relocating to McKinney, Texas. I go like this. Yeah. Well, I can't. I can't I'm one-handed. <laughs> I know that. Okay. I do one Okay. Okay. Ready? Done. Done, done. Oh, you're done? Yeah. Oh, you didn't need me. <laughs> I thought I played an important role. <laughs> I think it's, uh, we got that. Mm, all right, uh, last topic. Uh, don't California my bikini, Texas. Should we do that? Yeah. Point at the camera. Yeah. Are we serious? Yeah. No. <laughs> and uh, lastly, re relocation diffusion, real estate word of it. Um, I should do like, and you, I'll just point at you. Oh, that is weird. <laughs> <laughs> I will pull it up. Maybe if we're just like. Oh, real patient. We need a dictionary in here for all those I know. real estate. That would be yeah. good at Big Webster's. Or on the green screen. Mm -hmm. That'd be funny. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. Does this make mm -hmm. sense? I think okay. so. Okay. All right. I think we got that. Okay. okay. Uh, microphone, you think you would need that? One, two, three, here I go. Give me that microphone. <laughs>
Testing one, two, three, here I go. Give me that microphone. 